Back in Ottawa, the man tapped to lead the Conservatives' defence in the robocall scandal is himself under investigation tonight. Dean Del Mastro is being investigated by Elections Canada for allegedly violating campaign spending rules. Senior correspondent Terry Malewski has more on this story tonight. Terry. Well, Diana, Dean Del Mastro has aggressively defended his party over the robocalls file, so it was embarrassing today when Post Media reported that he is under investigation by Elections Canada for allegedly paying $21,000 without reporting it to a telemarketing company in the 2008 campaign. That sum would put him way over the legal spending limit. This is an unsubstantiated <laughs> smear campaign. Baseless smear allegations. Reprehensible to make baseless smears in this house. Del Mastro has insisted all along that the opposition has no evidence of wrongdoing by the Conservative Party. But now comes Post Media's discovery of a check written by Del Mastro himself to a calling company called Holland's Head. The amount was not reported on his campaign expenses and almost all of the $21,000 would be over what the election law allows. Uh, my uh, statements are fully audited. Uh, they uh, reflect all expenses related to my campaigns. Del Mastro defended himself by appearing unannounced on the set of CBC's Power and Politics. Uh, it tears you up, so you don't want to be... Uh, I don't want to issue a statement when I can come down here and say, you know, here's what I know about it. Even so, his explanation of the check uh, was uh, not easy to follow. What I can tell you is that there was uh, a relationship for services that had been completed by this company uh, for uh, my uh, for various services they had done, both for my MP office at, at one point, I had a very small contract with them for that, uh, for the association, which is not me, this is the Conservative Association, uh, and a small contract that was undertaken uh, for my 2008 campaign. Del Mastro's case then seems to be that some of the 21,000 was for work done outside the campaign and therefore not subject to the spending limits. Only $1,500 was reported as campaign expenses. Del Mastro also complained that Elections Canada is investigating him without alerting him. Diana. Thanks, Terry. Terry Molesky tonight.